boys and girls, my name is Cheryl and today I'll be telling you a story of Coco the Great written by Natalie Hennedigay and illustrated by Twisty. This story was set in Singapore a long long time ago where you can find wooden atap houses on stilts, children playing with marbles and grown-ups washing their clothes by the river. Coco lived in a little kampong where his father works as a fisherman and his mother tends the house. One day, his mother had to go to the market, so she told Coco, Coco, be a good boy, okay? Don't climb the roof and don't go beyond the river. It's very dangerous. There are giants, interrupted Coco. And Coco's mother just smiled and kissed him on his forehead and said, When you grow a little older, you'll find out yourself. When he was finally home alone, Coco ran towards the kitchen to grab a cooking pot to use as a helmet. And then he announced, loud and proud, Watch out giants, I am Coco the Great, here I come! And he charged out of the house, accidentally knocking over two aunties along the way. And when he spot Yellow Dog, he ran towards Yellow Dog and said, Yellow Dog, Yellow Dog, come, we need to go save the village. The green giant's about to get us. But Yellow Dog looked at him, gave him a smile, wagged his tail and went back to sleep. Suddenly, the green giant opened his eyes and roared. Everyone around the bridge ran to take cover. There is no time to waste. Coco dashed up the tree and shouted, Be quiet, green giant! You are no match for Coco the Great! Although Coco never carried a sword, he had really fast legs and strong arms, so he jumped onto green giant. Green giant was fuming mad. He shook his trunk and branches as Coco rolled and tumbled into a fishing boat. The boat sailed down the Blue River with Green Giant chasing behind. Coco commanded Blue River to rise. Facing Blue River, Green Giant looked very tiny indeed. Green Giant retreated in anger and growled, I'll get you next time! Coco thanked Blue River for saving him and Blue River bowed majestically and settled back into his calm blue bed. Suddenly, the fisherman's boat came to a stop. Coco looked up and see that the boat had come to the very end where the river met the sea. The rainbow bird beat his wings and flew into the distance while whistling a tune. Coco knew that someday, he will be able to explore beyond the river, but not today. Suddenly, a gush of wind swept the boat all the way back to the village and from a distance, Coco saw his mother waiting for him. So he leaped out of the boat, ran as fast as his feet could bring him and with his strong arms gave his mother a hug. And the mother said, Hey, I was wondering where my cooking pot had gone, said his mother as she gave him a warm embrace. Life by the river was just as it was. The end. Oh, if you enjoyed this story and you want to hear more, make sure you join Pip's Club and subscribe to Pip's World. Come catch Coco the Great at Esplanade Theatre Studios from 11th of August onwards. Get your tickets now. See ya!